guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to make yourself look presentable if you are A, hungover, B, tired, or C, unwell. Um, I'm actually not hungover today, but I'm really tired and I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. So, and I'm actually looking quite under the weather, although not right now because I just did my makeup. Um, anyways, so keep watching and I have a few tips and tricks that I use to make myself look less puffy and more awake and more bright eyed. So um, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, take a shower. It always makes you feel better. Um, and then after I'm all clean, I will run myself under really, really cold water for a few seconds. It's a little bit painful, but it feels really good and it kind of helps wake you up and your skin up and um, like puts that glow back into your skin. After the shower, I will put on vitamin C serum and then a good thick moisturizer. I've been using Cetaphil for years. It's really cheap, it doesn't make me break out and I really, really like it. Um, so after that, you wanna try and put some radiance back into your skin. So I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. Just put that all over my face. always nice to massage your face a little bit to wake your skin up especially around your eyes which can get puffy and dull so then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of foundation this one is the Smashbox Studio Skin um, and I'm not gonna put it everywhere because you definitely don't want to wear a ton of foundation and just mask everything like honestly you'll just look worse so I'm just gonna put it on with my finger so that I can rub it in. And this one is hydrating, which is great for after a night out or if you're just feeling kind of shitty. So just put it where you need it, which for me is on my forehead and my chin. I don't really need it on my cheeks. Then I'm just gonna do a little bit of spot concealing this is my clay de peau and just a flat concealer brush. And if you need to, you can set with some powder. Where is that brush? Then I'm going to go in with some bronzer. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury Highlight and Sculpt Bronzer. So I'm not really looking to contour. I just want to kind of warm up my skin a little bit so that I don't look quite so dead. It's like one of those creepy robots in Westworld. Are you guys watching Westworld? Or have you watched it? so good oops i like this color because it's pretty subtle but it definitely makes a difference i really really wouldn't worry about eyeshadow <laughs> i would be happy if i could just get myself out of the house so i just take some of the bronzer and literally just sweep it over my eyes okay now that we've got some color in our dead little faces Hopefully feeling slightly better. Um, I'm going to put some quick brows on. I'm not going to do like a, any kind of a complicated brow. You just want to fill them in, um, make them look a little bit fuller, and that's kind of it. I'm just going to set them really quick. This is my Anastasia Brow Gel. Okay, next uh, I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm going to do some under eye concealer. It's my favorite under eye concealer. I think today I need a little bit more. So I just put it on with my finger. Really want to make sure you get in this little hollow part of your eye because it'll really brighten it up. 
Okay, and then on to mascara. I am trying out this new Maybelline mascara. I am a diehard Dior Show fan, and I've also been really loving the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lash. But I'm going to try this new Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Volume Express. So, let's see how it goes. The brush is maybe a little bit small. Oh no, I like it, actually. Okay, one quick coat. You can do another one if you want. I may. And then I'm going to go in with highlighter. This is maybe the most important step. This is my NARS Albatross powder. And I'm just going to use this Charlotte Tilbury sculpting brush. And I'm going to go in along my cheekbones and brow bone. down my nose, top of my lip, and then I'm also going to go in just with a small brush. This is literally the only one I could find. I'm going to go in the corner of my eyes because it'll just really make you look a lot more awake than you are. There we go. Much more awake. Blush is also a must. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury, just with a big blusher brush. Just go on the apples of your cheeks. Across the bridge of the nose. And then my last trick is to use a nude pencil. I think this is a concealer pencil from Benefit, actually and you just line really lightly the inside of your waterline because that's kind of where it'll show the most red and it also just makes you look a little bit more awake. So uh, for lips, also really want to make sure that your lips are moisturized. Um, so in the morning when you get up, make sure you're putting on face cream and um, lip balm while you're drinking lots and lots of water along with your Tylenol. My trusty chapstick. It's my favorite stuff ever. And then you really, really, really don't want to use any kind of a nude lipstick because it'll make you look dead. Um, and we don't want to look like a corpse. So this is from Bite Beauty. It's called Lesh or Leche. <laughs> if you've seen my Bite Beauty video, you will know that little joke. And it's just a soft pink color. And don't use lip liner. Don't worry about that. Don't put yourself through it. And that is it. So hopefully you are looking better than you feel, um, and I hope those tips were helpful. Thanks, guys.